In this video, I'm going to show you how to make Minecraft mods run smoother. So the first thing you always want to try to do is optimize your Minecraft settings. To do that, go ahead and press over here where it says options and you want to go ahead and select on video settings. Now here's where things get really important. This is basically what we need to focus on the most. So where it says render distance, you really want to make sure you do turn that down. And I know like depending on like your mod pack, you may even need to turn it all the way down to three chunks, which obviously is a little bit unfortunate. Um, but obviously if you're experiencing a ton of lag whenever you're trying to play mods, then this is definitely a great option because like render distance is one of the main things that actually does cause lag all right so you definitely want to go ahead and try that also where it says vsync please make sure that that is actually turned off in order for it to work because sometimes vsync could be causing lag so that is certainly another thing that you want to do and also you want to go ahead and manage your simulation distance as well and i recommend turning it down same thing with your render distance and then what you want to do is you want to go over here to where it says quality and where it does say fancy you want to change it to fast just like so and basically you want to turn off any like fancy graphics or stuff like that because that is actually going to help you reduce lag whenever you're trying to run minecraft mods so it is a little bit of a trade-off how we are sacrificing the visuals in order to get performance but that is certainly an option that you guys can go ahead and try but if you guys want a simple plug and play solution and you don't want to compromise anything then check out our partners over at simple game hosting Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft servers where you never have to worry about your server lagging because they have incredibly powerful servers that can withstand basically anything and also there's unlimited slots so you can have all of your friends play together in this Minecraft server. You can add any mod or mod pack you could think of with the click of a single button because Simple Game Hosting specializes in creating modded servers. There's also dozens of video guides along with 24-7 live customer support. So guys, if this sounds interesting, feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment. Alright guys, but there are still some other things that we could do in order to actually reduce lag and make your game run smoother. And that is to actually close out of Minecraft temporarily and go back to the Minecraft launcher. So let's go ahead and do that. And now let's open up the Minecraft launcher right over here. All right, guys, so once we're here in the Minecraft launcher, go over here to where it says installations and you want to load into the installation that you're running mods on. So for me, it is this and you want to press over here on these three dots. Then you want to go ahead and select over here where it says edit. Then please go ahead and select on more options. And basically, we're going to be allocating more RAM. So what could be happening is that your device is more than capable of running the mod. It's just that you didn't allocate enough RAM to the Minecraft installation. And in order to do that, all you want to do is you want to go over here to where it says JVM arguments. And you will notice that we will get this term over here that will say XMX and then 2G. Uh, you want to remove the two and change it to the amount of RAM on your system. So me personally, I have eight gigabytes worth of RAM, so I would change it to eight. But if you have like 32 gigabytes of RAM on your computer, you would change it to 32. And then you would go ahead and press over here where it says save in order to save all of the changes. And then from there, go ahead and try running Minecraft with mods and see if that does make a difference. Okay, and another thing that you guys could do is run a performance mod. So a lot of mods are compatible with like performance mods like Optifine, Sodium, Lithium, etc. So if you have like fabric mods like me, then I highly suggest downloading Sodium. And I did make an in-depth guide showing you how to install Sodium for fabric. So if that is something that you want to do, then feel free to check out the link in the description down below as well, because we could use those FPF mods in order to make our mods run smoother in our game. Another thing that could be causing you issues is mods that are taking up way too much strain on your system. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up the mods folder. So let's go ahead and do that. Then scroll down until you see mods. So mods should be right over here. Yep, here it is. And what could be happening is that there's like a particular mod that maybe isn't compatible or maybe it's like for an outdated version of Minecraft causing your game to lag. So you want to make sure that all the mods are actually meant to be there. And if you have like a suspicion that a certain mod is causing the issue, then what I recommend that you guys do is just take it out of the mods folder and try to have only the mods that you really need in order to run Minecraft. So you don't want to have like extra mods or anything like that because that could be causing issues you only want to have the mods that you're actually using whenever you're trying to play don't try to add like a thousand mods or something like that because chances are that is going to lag your game so you only want to have the mods that you're actually using inside of the mods folder and obviously this should be a given but if you have like a lower npc definitely do not try to multitask like don't try to open up adobe premiere pro or something like that or like don't try to watch youtube videos while you're playing minecraft try to watch youtube videos on like a separate device maybe like your phone or something because that could also cause strain on your device so try to avoid multitasking because that could also cause your game to lag but anyways guys if you found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe i'll see you in the next tutorial